you're a rapper now you're bobby fino well you're a lot of things now which which is awesome i mean like we get to see the whole arian foster which is cool man and actually i'm not blowing smoke i'm sure a lot of people have told you this i mean when Nas is interested in your music like you know go figure but you're fucking good at it dude and there's a lot of athletes who take swings at it and they you know they're just not that great so where do you want to go with it like are you, you have any big plan or are you just kind of doing what you love yeah, no, I'm just doing what I love, man. Um, I, I I went on a tour right before COVID hit. Um, <clears throat> a little small tour. We had to play some small venues like in the South, like eight eight or nine cities. Um, but yeah, like you said, man, uh, like Nas, I, I'm signed to Nas, uh, Mass Appeal, Nas's record label. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not that I don't need a record label. Nowadays, the digital distribution is everything. And so it's more so just like a... If, if people do give it a listen, it's like, okay, it's not just somebody doing music. Like, I love this. Like, this is what I do. Mm-hmm. Um, I was I would say I, I'm probably more talented at this than than football, but football was just an easier route for me to to like I've I've been writing and and making music since I was a child, like nine, ten years old. I've been doing this. Um and so now I just get a chance to do it at a at a level where I've always wanted to. Um and uh it's just it's just a part of me, man. So it's like something that like I'm not looking, I don't want to sell out no garden. I don't I don't wanna you don't even want to make videos. I like I, I you know, I have to to kind of sometimes uh push the content. Um, but leaving like this last project, I didn't make any videos. Uh, I just, I'm just over marketing in general. I fucking hate marketing dog. It's just, yeah, dude, it's I the biggest, it's the biggest mind fuck. I got a podcast now <laughs> and people will be like, yo, you got to share your socials. You got to put your face out there. You got And I'm like, no, I actually just want to do it. And I want people to like it, but I don't want to try too hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't like marketing. Cause it's like, um, uh, it's almost like gimmicky, man. And then it's not why I make music. I, I'll probably be making music till I'm dead. Like whether I release anything or not, I've been making music since I was a child. But like I'll probably make it till I'm dead. And I've really enjoyed. I really love the the musicality of it, the the instrumentation of it, the the strings, the horns, the percussion. Like I, I I'm in love with it. Like I love it. And so I'll be making it forever. But there's so it's such a small piece of actually making music. Like now nowadays, um, I really. Uh, all the time, man. It's not, it's never really about the music. It's more about like the the show of it, and mm-hmm. like if you if every every musician is like a, almost a character, right? And yeah. that becomes almost a caricature, and and people fall in love with that. People fall in love with the backstories and yada yada. And so like I I'm well aware like when people listen to my music, they're like, oh, he used to play football, and so it's like they're always listening through the lens of oh, this is a football player. Um, well, they don't grow musicians on fields. Like we all come from where we come from. Which can be detrimental too, right? Because people oh, it's don't the look worst at thing. like this guy's got fucking skill. He's he's a football player that became a rapper when you yeah. were doing this before football. Yeah, it's the worst thing for. It. But it's like, like again, like I'm not trying to get famous off this shit. Like I couldn't care less, bro. I, I really just, I I think if people look past it and and enjoy uh, the kind of music that I make, um, uh, it's it's your it's right in your pocket. Like I I, I respect the craft. I, I I take my writing very seriously. Like. I'm, I'm a writer before anything else. Like before I was a football player, I was a writer. Well, um, I think it's great, man. I like, I like, I think you've got like the bars are great. The fucking flow is cool. And I like the, the, the production. I think the production is, I'm not afraid to say like when it comes to listening to, to hip hop, which I do less of than I used to, because I think there's less good music coming out. And I know yeah. I sound like an old man sitting on a fucking cloud, but I grew up in the nineties, dude. Yeah, um, sure. <laughs> you know, like, I, production's important to me and i think like you crush the production side of it so you can tell you're definitely immersed in the whole the musical side of it not just like oh i got these bars that you know i've yeah. written in a notepad yeah no i can't I, I think I, I come from like the the the, tr- the branch of uh of like a kanye where it's like uh, i like making conceptual songs and conceptual <laughs> albums where it's like i'm not just rapping to rap i mean there are songs where i do just you know spit the bars but for the most part it's like there's like a message and there's a song like in the song there's like a there's something i'm trying to express and like that's what i used to love about kanye i still do i love kanye just not everything but <laughs> a little like, differently it's like, <laughs> yeah it's hard man when he put out that that album with the mountains in the background and he was going through all that ideological bullshit i was like i'm checking out <laughs> there's like there's like two or three or four tracks on there that are bangers though man it's like i'll always check for him because he's a musical genius he's oh really i got yelled genius. at i get yelled at at the time on the internet because i said like i'm not boycotting kanye i won't buy nah. his new shit because i think like as a person i'm not buying what he's selling anymore yeah. but even like you know kanye like from you know when i was in college will always 
and Kyle, and even beyond that, like I'm going to listen to his albums. Like I'm not going to cancel Kanye's old music because no. I, I think he's, he's got some stupid takes these days. Like I'm not going to listen to his new shit because I do think that rap above other like forms of music, like it's a very personal thing. So it's hard to separate the artist from the art in my opinion. So like, yeah, if I sure. think a guy's a douchebag, like it's really hard for me to listen to his music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I understand that, but I'm the exact opposite. Like, You're the opposite. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, if it if it resonates with me, like that's what art is, dog. It's like I could disagree with 99.9% .9 of uh, who a human being is and what they think, but this point one they put in a song that I fuck with, that's the beauty of art, and that's what keeps us connected, and that's what. Yeah. Uh, that's why I, I used to not think art was like important. Like, if you even look at like in these um, a lot of these like uh these COVID relief bills, there was like uh. Thirty million dollars for like a arts and a art center or something like that, and like on the face, it's like, oh, why are you trying to give money? People need money. Like, why are you giving it to arts? It's like arts and the preservation of arts is literally ushering in what our culture is. Like, it's it, it is what we are. Like, if you look at any uh, decimated uh, society or culture, like all all they do is if we if we were to to keep there's two things that we keep when we when we look at old societies that are in ruins. We look at their science, like what they have. Uh, attributed uh, technologically and we look at their art their culture those are the two things that we always keep from society so those things should always be preserved and so it's like i'll listen to anything I, i'm i'm the type of cat where if a dude is at the on a, on a gas station with a cd he's like yo listen to me i'll listen to him I'll yeah you probably get a lot more of that now that was gonna ask you get a lot of people like yo check out my soundcloud like they don't oh, yeah and i and i'll do it and you know what's crazy is like i mean i would say over 90 percent is is not my cup of tea no right. every now and then bro i will find a dope artist bro I, f I, f I found like two or three like really good like i like i will i will go to bat for them because they just dope man and i found like two yeah. or three really good ones just on some like yo listen to my shit and i listen I i'll give anybody a listen well no and and the where we differ is i feel like there's enough art that i can pick and choose like if i don't sure. love kanye's new shit and i'm like ah, i think he's a fucking quack now that's my yeah. opinion then i can yeah. go listen to the 50 and you were talking about concept albums Boy, do I miss Kendrick. I mean, I think he's 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 the best out in my opinion right now. Yeah. Kendrick is unreal, dog. Who else? I I love Freddie. I just had Freddie on the yeah. pod. I love Freddie as a nineties kid. It's like fucking this yeah. guy is the nineties kid with the production of the twenty twenties, yep. dude. Like the, yep. the alchemist stuff, the the and bandana is probably my favorite thing he did. But like I mean, who else now is out that you really, really like? If you could put Here's a better way to put it. Talking about putting things in time capsules to get in the mood for macro dosing here, but they're talking about putting things in time capsules, like they're putting a time capsule in the Space Needle in Seattle, and they were arguing over, do you put a Nirvana or a Pearl Jam album in there? Give me one album that Arian Foster wants to put in a time capsule for aliens to find in a thousand years. Oh, man. That's tough. A small shout out to somebody in Nato, just to answer your question. Now that I'm thinking about it, is Isaiah Rashad. I don't know if you've heard of him. I don't. I don't know Isaiah. Rashad. He's, on, he's on TDE. He's on. He's on the same label. Uh, Kendrick and like school. Okay. Q, you know, he's to me. He's like. He's like. He's like. He's like next up. He's so fire. But um, uh, I I think the most complete and, it's, and it, it, to me it'll be hip hop because it's the best storytelling, right? And so like right. I'm a I'm a black man in America. I grew up in in the society I grew up in. Uh, to me, what encapsulated that in the best way. Uh, that that also merged uh, the kind of music that I fell in love with, which I think the best era of music is the 60s and the 70s. Agreed. Is uh, To Pimp a Butterfly. That yeah. album is fucking perfect, dog. Oh, yeah. my God. Hey, great album. Fucking perfect. It's a great album. And you're right. It had all, it had so many like outside musical influences, but they're not really outside when you think about it because hip-hop came from, from other musical influences. Like, so oh, when you yeah. they're outside of the genre like and it's funny me being a white kid in the 90s listening to new york hip-hop which i really fell in love with you know and to the point where i had all the papoose mixtapes in college like <laughs> ah, papoose yeah, yeah dude so, back name. like saigon and shit like that like i'm really <laughs> listening to like real new york rap and i'm like i got the buy mixtapes.com shit but like the, the way i learned about old music was i i learned on it on samples like so mm -hmm. like a lot of my favorite music I was first exposed to through samples, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I think it's just so interesting when it comes to hip hop, like you can always go backwards to find more good music. And I'm always looking yeah. for more good music. And I always go backwards, you know, mm -hmm. oh, a thousand percent, a hundred percent, man. I, I like, 
sampling to me, like a lot of people like have disdain for it, but I I love it because it, it like you said, like you find artists through sampling. And it's like the only place where art creates art. You know what I mean? Like it's like yes. ba- the art art has a baby and you get to like see what else uh was created from it. I think it's a beautiful thing. And it's a nod. It's if you're doing it respectfully, mm-hmm. it's a nod. And so who are the best athlete rappers who actually made the the, the switch uh, or do both? And you were like, yeah, that guy's pretty good. Um, There's not many. And I don't say that disrespectfully. I just think a lot of the times cats do it. They just do it for the wrong reasons. Like they just they like rap and they're just expressing themselves how they express. Um, but they haven't really like understood like, yo, this is an art form and people have been doing this. Like, this is what they give their lives to. Like people study language, people study. Yeah. You can't moonlight. Like, yeah. And so uh, there's not a lot. I think, you know, of course, I think the, the most famous one is Dame. Uh, he care he cares he about what he, yeah, he yeah. cares about what he puts down. Um, one that nobody really knows about, bro, is um, he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't do rap. He does like Afro. I forget what the genre is called, man, but Tamba Ali. Oh, Tamba, yeah. Tamba shit is fire, dog. He has a song called Oh My God that yeah. is like heavy on my rotation. Always, bro. Like that shit. Is, I, I, I love his style, dog. I love it. There's a lot of good music coming out of West Africa, especially like, I mean, you know, I, when you're out of shit on Spotify, and really before you're out of shit on Spotify, you should go look at Afrobeat and stuff like that if you're out of music because there's so many great musicians there. And, oh, yeah. and, and there's so much intermingling between like the British rock and roll stuff and like, you know, the, the soul from the U S and like, it's just so cool, man. Um, I really like Shumpert. Amon Shumpert. I thought he was pretty good when he I've never, I've never really listened to, I've heard that he raps. I, I think yeah. I saw like one video of him once, which I, you know, I thought was good, 